So I have this log splitter here, and um, I'd really like to convert it to have a four-way wedge. I actually tried a couple years ago to do this unsuccessfully, and um, I want to give it another try now. Last time I tried to do this, I, I had the wedge on here. It was something I bought. I didn't make it. And the, what would happen is it would split it, and then once, once this piece hit it, it would get stuck because the wedge was like, it was wedged like this, you know, less extreme obviously, but it would pinch the log in this gap right here. And there's, there's no way any, any log splitter would be powerful enough to, to like crush a log sideways, you know? So I'm gonna try to do it, redo it and, and have the, I guess we'll call it the wing off the side. Instead of having it angled like that, I'm gonna have it almost angled like this and I'm gonna angle it up up like that so then that way the log will it, it should work it should work that's the plan so let's uh, give this a shot so I'll just do a demonstration how this is now All right, so what I just did in three motions, or three cycles, I'm hoping to be able to do in just one. So really having a four-way wedge on this thing should almost triple the speed at which the wood gets split. All right, so let's give it a try. All right, so I'll do something like that, weld that solid, then grind this to a nice point. And then I'm gonna try putting these bends in it. So there should be, this should be bent right here. And I'll make this plate further forward, bend it right here. Now I'm gonna weld in this piece here. So I'm, this thing, the, the idea is that you'll just be able to slip this down on top of it. So um, I'll weld this in here now. The reason I'm welding it now, because if you went and welded this entire gap right here, and you know really burnt it in hot, what would happen is when you weld stuff, it heats up and then the metal cools down and it, it shrinks. So what would happen is since it'd be shrinking here, it would actually pull these apart. I'll just weld this piece in here now so that doesn't happen.
that should split wood just fine. All right, now it's time to design these wings. So, okay, this is a plate of one inch thick steel. There's one inch. And I got, I just got this as a drop, six by 15. So it's 15, let's cut it in half. So seven and a half. So I got a little bit of a challenge for the plasma cutter. I don't think I've ever cut one inch with it before. I think it's supposed to be able to though, so let's see. Probably gotta go slower. did a nice job. Now that's the way to do that. It should probably be about about that high. Um, I want to angle it up a little bit and it needs to I guess I got to cut this chunk out of it or something. That's pretty good, so I'll be like that. And I just gotta cut this wedge. So, so it's gotta be cut. Uh, that's gonna be hard, actually. I'll cut off this section.
So I got it all working. I, I had to do a little bit of trimming on this, on this bracket here and the thing underneath that mounts it right in there. But all this is for is when you, you're cycling back, it's uh, the, if a log is stuck on the wedge, that this pushes it off. But I don't think I've ever had that happen with this splitter. So, but it's still there. This will still push off a log. And now it's time to bring it outside and test it. Alright, now just splitting, you know, regular firewood size logs, the thing, it's working absolutely great. Um, let me uh, try doing some something that's really, really big, see how it does with that. A good question is, how come you think these splitters don't come like this from the factory? I mean, it wouldn't be that much more work for the, the people who built this whole machine to just sell it like this. Um, it seems like it probably doubles to triples the production. So why why not do that? I wish I had done this years ago. The amount of wood I've split with the splitter, probably had the thing seven years now. If if this was on it, really probably be double at least double the wood. All right, let's try something big now.
All right, the lock splitter four-way wedge has worked great on everything so far. Let's try it on something like this. So that is, well, that's 43 inches right there. Jeez, I guess my bar is barely going to reach through this. That's a 20-inch bar on that, so... <laughs> I don't think that bar reached. I don't think it made it through the center. Now this is a bit of a, it's a little crazy here, but let's see what happens.
definitely calling this project a success. This pretty much worked on everything I threw at it. It works excellent on normal firewood size pieces where you pretty much only have to cycle them about once to get a perfect size piece of firewood. Even on the gigantic stuff, it worked pretty good. Um, I guess that one piece that was like 44 inches or whatever, I guess doing stuff like that, you're probably a little better just taking it off for the first few initial splits on that, but it's very rare that you'd be working with logs that size anyway. So, you know, usually stuff, even stuff like this big, you know, if it's just nice straight log, instead of cutting that up for firewood, I'll usually send that to a sawmill because it's a lot more useful than just firewood. Usually firewood stuff is, you know, a little smaller than that, you know, probably that on average, a little bigger. But again, this worked great. And a good question, I really want to know why you think these splitter companies don't just sell the splitters like this in the first place.